Hi, if you don't already know me, I'm Stephen Brandt with Door Training. You can find me at doortraining.ca. I have the honor and privilege of working with the people who literally wrote the books on organizational accountability and culture um, and developing and fostering a culture of accountability. So I want to speak to you about mindsets. I know that there's been a lot of buzz around a growth versus a fixed mindset. And, and I like the context and the concept. And, and I would certainly encourage people to pursue that for their own well-being. However, as an organization to invest in something that's going to propel you forward, I'm not sure that that's the best investment. We focus on a mindset shift that's really focused on accountability, which we define in the Oz Principle as it's the personal choice, which means I internalize it. Personal choice to rise above one's circumstances, demonstrate the ownership necessary to achieve key results. That's a mindset shift that we create in the Oz Principle Accountability Training. We've done this workplace accountability study with well over 40,000 respondents. It's the biggest research of its kind that's ever been done on organizational accountability. And some interesting things that we found. One was we asked people, when obstacles arise, what happens? 45% of the respondents quickly become stuck. They don't know what to do or they become befuddled or perplexed and they're uncertain about what to do to go forward. So they're very, they're very tentative going forward at best. A further 27% of the people say they expect you as their leader to solve that problem for them. So if you add those two together, when the almost predictable obstacles rise, 72% of your people are either going to quickly become stuck and stall out or stop altogether. Wouldn't you rather have people come to you with solutions rather than problems? So we equip people to take ownership. We give them a methodology to add to the mindset of see it, own it, solve it, do it, to recognize the reality of the situation. Do we have the right level of ownership? Are people vested to the degree that we need them to be? Are we proactively solving problems? Wouldn't you rather have somebody who now is faced with an obstacle approach you as a leader to say, here's the obstacle I faced, here's what I did to look at the reality of the situation, here's the methodology that I followed, and here's what I intend to do. Wouldn't that be so much more effective? Then you can either bless it or not, and that way you keep accountability with the individual. Because if they come to you with their problems and their obstacles and their challenges, as our research shows, and then they ask and expect you to fix it, Whatever you tell them to do, you've just taken accountability away and they no longer have ownership of even the result. So they'll just do what you told them and whatever happens, happens. It's on you, not on them. So we want to change that mindset. That's really far more important mindset to invest in and to work on as an organization and as a team to achieve results than growth versus fixed. So don't get me wrong, still encourage that. But as an organization, your best bang for your buck is going to equip people to take ownership themselves and to help propel you forward. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.